This is a product video for Avery Dennison's SW900 Color Flow with Gloss Finish. It comes in six colors. Lightning Ridge, Roaring Thunder, Urban Jungle, Rising Sun, Rushing Riptide, and Fresh Spring. The lot number and product information can be found on the box and in the core tube. And here are the details. Product number SW900, premium cast vinyl, liner 90 pounds stay flat, roll width 60 inches or 152 centimeters, length 25 and 50 yards, thickness 3.3 mil, adhesive easy apply RS long term removable, six colors, and here are the uses. The gloss color flow reflects a wide range of colors and hues. Releasing the liner reveals the easy apply structure and the adhesive is black, which makes it ideal for hiding the edges on inlays and overlays. Avery Dennison's RS technology allows the installer to easily slide the film, then, by applying pressure from the squeegee, it sticks to the surface. The easy feature allows bubbles to be pressed away, no need for an air release tool. The low initial tack helps avoid problems, like when the film folds on itself. It can easily be pulled apart and, by triggering the memory effect, all wrinkles disappear. It is very important to note that SW900 Color Flow Gloss is very directional. Here, three out of the four sides of this square piece don't match up. Lining the panels up precisely is critical for perfect balance of color and hue. Vertical overlaps should be half inch, overlays and inlays one eighth of an inch. Heat guns or propane torches can be used, though heat guns are preferred. For clients to fully appreciate how dynamic Color Flow Gloss is, it's always recommended to show them a sample outside, as natural light will give them the best idea of how it will look on the vehicle. And for production, no need to laminate it, it's built in, and this means no printing. And here are the warranties for vertical and horizontal. Zone 1, 4, and 1. Zone 2, 3, 6 months. Zone 3, 2, 4 months. And always mark the liner with a sharpie to indicate direction. To help minimize waste and increase workflow, it's always a good idea to measure the panels beforehand. For areas like the hood and roof, the directional effect of the material is not critical, so placement in any direction will work. For the sides, totally different story. Direction is imperative, so make sure that all the panels are going in the same direction, including bumpers. If using a measurement sheet, mark the box directional so the production department understands how to section the panels. A good tip is to use a dry erase marker to mark arrows on the liner. This indicates direction. Always roll the panels up with the film on the outside. For install, here's the workspace temperature. Standard cleaning method should be applied. It's qualified for OEM paint. Conformability is for complex curbs and deep recessed areas. Here are the tools needed to achieve a professional result. And the surface energy of Avery Supreme Color Flow Gloss is high. Remove the hardware first as there's lots of dirt behind which can compromise quality. Use a squeegee and paper towel to reach hard to reach areas like under molding and lights. Then use a general cleaner for the main surface area. Next, a clay bar or clay bar glove to remove minute particles. The final step is degreasing, and 70% isopropyl alcohol works fine. Installers should take advantage of the very low initial tack of Avery Dennison's colorful film and release the entire liner when possible. Always apply moderate recessed areas first. This helps avoid adhesive lines. Then apply the flat areas second. Always feed open-sided recessed areas instead of bridging and forcing them in. Masking tape on molding and a tack cloth help avoid mistakes and dirt. An installer should always take two seconds to double check the arrows on a liner to ensure proper direction. Not taking the time to do this can mean reinstalls. For scraps, immediately mark arrows on the liner to help ensure direction. This is especially true for panels that will be going on the main sections of the vehicle. Repeating steps and techniques helps maintain high quality and avoids overstretching the film, which can make the hue reflect differently. For enclosed recessed areas, always work towards the opening so the air can escape. For raised objects like molding, antennas, and door handles, tuck and cut the film. This ensures minimal tension and the Avery Dennison's flex stream is ideal for sealing these tight areas. For steep angle drop-offs, relax the film, then form it in to minimize tension. This helps ensure long-term durability and even color balance. For high grab areas, like fronts of hoods and door sides, wrap the film around the edges. For inlays, overlays, double check the direction of the scrap, 
Wrap one side about one quarter of an inch around the corner, then make a one eighth of an inch overlap with the overlay piece. For severe compound curves like mirrors, the pre-stretch or cold pre-stretch techniques can be used. Be sure to relax and tuck the edges, then wait 30 minutes before cutting. This is because ColorFlow gloss is a multi-layered film, so by letting the adhesive set up properly, it ensures no shrinkage. For deep recessed areas, make sure the surface is thoroughly degreased. Bridge the film over the entire area, spray a soapy solution onto an Avery Dennison application glove, set up the edges, then apply the film to the deepest part of the recessed area first. Heat the film around, but not on the recessed area, then squeegee the flat second. This helps even the tension and avoid adhesive lines. Keep in mind that it is necessary to wait 30 minutes before post heating so the adhesive has time to settle, but no longer than 24 hours. On bumpers, it's very important to double check the arrows on the liner to ensure proper direction. Higher heaters or heat guns can be used. Pull evenly to ensure color balance. And because color flow is multi-layered, apply heat on the edges to shrink it onto the bumper. This significantly helps lifting over time. For post install, here's the cure time. Avery Denison wrap care products are recommended. Don't use isopropyl alcohol to clean. Post heating temperature is 175 to 195 Fahrenheit. Overlaps 225. And the gloss surface is easy to maintain. Post heat any areas that were stretched beyond 10%. Apply edge seal tape to the underside for extra durability. Carefully reinstall any hardware. And if there are any minor scratches on the gloss color flow, these can be self healed with heat. The sun will also do this once the car is outside. Only use approved Avery Denison aftercare products and properly pack up any remaining film in the original box so it doesn't get scratched or damaged. For removals, less than 20% adhesive residue will be left behind. No paint damage for OEM paint in good condition under five years old. And you can remove the film with a heat gun, propane torch, IR heater, or steamer. This has been an official product overview for Avery Denison's SW900 Color Flow with gloss finish. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.